Uh, we've just been to the, uh, the fair there in Lorette, and uh, we're just on our way back, we've just stopped off in a little village it's called Pina, and uh, we've just found a bar to so have coffee on the way back. So, um, we're going to have a look, hopefully, have a little look around the village. There's not very much to see, so it won't be a very long video. Uh, but just caught my eye as we were driving through on the way to Europe. So, see you in a moment. We just had a nice coffee here, and one of the things that makes this village really stand out when you're driving here is the huge church. That's not it, I think that's the convent. This is the church, and uh, I don't know. Interesting bit of construction here. It looks like there's a. It was made with an arch. And, uh, go in lost. front. See. In the final, look at the very good. So, uh, a gentleman just stopped us to say that uh, if you go around, there's a little washing area, which is really interesting. You just go around this side. So this is a church. And this is the font that they're talking about. Yeah, yeah. Have a look down here. These buildings are huge. And this is just a, <laughs> it is really, it's a two horse town, more or less. It's a very, very small village with this huge convent. The bar we've just been to <laughs> seemed to double as the uh, as this local supermarket. This is the Casa Hijas de la Misericordia, so it's a, like the poor house in effect. Historically, where they looked after the poor people. Oh, just look at that, you just don't know what to expect when you come around the corner and look at that. A bridge on the convent. We need to go down here, I think. But a beautiful little village and geographically we're almost in the center of the the island so we've just been to Yoret and they've got a fair on there today and uh, we just decided to stop off here in Pina just to have a little look around it does look a fascinating little village very quiet it's a Sunday today as well but uh, there's no shops <laughs> Haven't seen any shops whether we're looking in the wrong part or not I'm not sure uh, and not much in the way of bars but the thing that did catch my eye uh, as the gentleman was trying to tell us uh, is that there's a, a font here which is obviously very interesting and uh, traditionally would have been used as a, as a wash area uh, by the people who live here Supposed to be a stormy day today, but we seem to have missed it. We've got lovely blue skies over that side. There are some high clouds. There's a nice little lookout spot there, so I'm going to he head for that. And then I need to go back on ourselves down the road. It's a bit dangerous. Sure, there's nothing coming. So we've just driven up this road. Um, obviously, very, very popular with the cyclists as well. So we, we were uh, following lots of them. It's a nice little area where you can sit and admire the wonderful views. So Lloret and Sinio are over that way. And somewhere down here is the font that we're going to be looking for. 
Yeah, those clouds do look a little bit dark, I know. I know. Anyway, shall we go in search of the font? Nice buildings here. Very typical sort of Mayokin made out of the local stone, which is great. Actually, the road is called the Road of the Founding Brothers. So when I say convent, I wonder if I mean a monastery. And this road that we're on is referred to as the Road to Sinew. Sinew has a wonderful market on a Wednesday that we go to quite often. Easy to get to. By, by train from Palma. And here's a tree with uh, fruit on that you just don't see. These are nisparos and they don't seem to travel very well. They, they are, they're ready to eat now and you eat them whole. There's a big stone in the middle. Um, yeah, they're quite nice, but uh, I don't think they last long enough to be exported. So you see them here, but you don't see them exported, say, to the UK. A bit of a breeze blowing up as well now. This is all local stone that the things are made, the walls are made out of. And they, they, they literally saw this out of the ground, just like they saw wood. This is where we're heading. The font. So we've just come from the church, which is up there. And this is Safont de Pina. Gently sloping stones down here. Did you know this here? Nope, this is uh, kind of a lucky discovery. <laughs> did come to Pina years ago on a couple of occasions for uh, an aero modeling display that's another way we could have come down here and it was actually called Mallorca jets and uh, that's what they were jets lovely area and it looks as though it's very well cared for it's very rocky very stony uh, so you need to keep an eye on your footing Careful. you'll need to listen to Anita as you can't carry you up from here I <laughs> don't think you could this is the wash area look isn't that lovely do see these all over the island but I've never seen one quite like this they usually when I the ones I've seen are one long trough and the water comes in at one end and flows out at the other well, where does the water come in for this well, these don't have don't seem to have a natural flow you can see the stones actually they're really well worn So the ladies would come here to do their washing. So the question now is where would they get their water from? And this is my guess. So down there, they'd have the bucket in the water. Okay. Climb 
down. Don't want to fall in the water. And there it is. There's a chain which would have a bucket on the end. You get your water out, fill your bucket. Can you see the water? Yeah, this is water here. Nice, clean, beautiful, clean water. And then you'd have to carry it all the way back up. But obviously they've uh, they've done some restoration work, a lot of restoration work here. That's looking in remarkable condition. And uh, the whole area actually. So there's another water trough down there, which uh, does have water in it. I'm going to go over and have a look at that wall. Careful. The, uh, there's another trough here. Big iron hooks. So actually this one uh, the water is just down there in the well. You could pour the water in there and then you've got this area where you could do your washing. Fascinating. This is a dry stone wall which they do so well here. It's really old looking wall. And there's um well, there's no water at the moment, but I can imagine uh, other times there would be a little torrente there and the water would be flowing down there. A couple of huge palm trees. What a lovely, peaceful place. Some steps up here. Shall we go and have a look up the steps? Are you up to going up the steps? Again, all stone. We're going to go, going to go across a bridge here, which is also made from stone. But there's a bit of concrete underneath it, just to keep it supported. <coughs> That's reassuring. out. We can look over the valley there or just walk through this lovely area. Yeah. Isn't this beautiful? What a lucky stop we had there. A nice coffee. You never know what you're going to find, do you? I don't. I think we've even got a couple of park benches and a big stone table. That's a hell of a stone to put on there. We obviously have had some rain here, it is damp. This is really, really pretty. And just from up here, we get another view of the wash area down there. I think we are really lucky to have been able to stop here and, uh, and enjoy this.
the stone cross and there's a couple of little benches here Some more curiosities here So that looks to me like a, a way bridge. So you come in and weigh your sack of potatoes or whatever it is you've been making and there's the weighing machine to weigh them. So this would be the equivalent of a way bridge. You can't drive in though. So to place your goods on there. <laughs> Isn't that lovely? I think we'll finish it under the archway, dear. The black clouds around. Yeah. Well, I think that was a really lucky find. Uh, this is Peanut, almost in the centre of the island, and a uh, nice little stop off. And if you can find a bar that's open, all the better. <laughs> Thanks very much for watching. I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye, Bye. for now. Bye.